Hello, hello, bright lights. How are you? Uh, welcome to another edition of Waking Up to Your True Potential. My name is Laura Renankowski, and I'm an international life and relationship coach. And I coach in English, Spanish, Finnish, and Italian. I'm so happy to have my guest today. She's a very good friend of mine, and we've known each other for, um, for a very long time. Um, my guest today is Patricia Kursinska, and Patricia is a published author of three books. She's a healer, and she's also an essential oils therapist. So she's, uh, she's very, uh, very talented. So uh, you're very welcome today, Patricia. Nice to see you again. Hi, Laura. Hi, everybody. I was actually so looking forward to that recording and interview. So you told me about that you invite guest speakers. And when you asked me, it's like, oh, my God, I would, I'm dying. <laughs> to have, I'm dying to have an interview with you. So here I am. And finally, we made, um, set a date. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really, uh, it's really nice. You know, it's really nice to have you um, on the series, you know, Patricia. And, you know, you have, you have so much knowledge of, you know, of so many, so many different kinds of things. And, you know, we've also given workshops together. We've given workshops together here in Dublin, where we've combined coaching and essential oils. And uh, people loved these workshops. And, and I remember that we, uh, we had so many different essential oils in these workshops that people would walk out, you know, smelling like an aromatherapy shop. Like <laughs> I remember, I remember <laughs> after these workshops, you know, it was amazing, you know, because yeah, like I, I smelled like those essential oils for like days. And yeah, I love, I love those essential oils um, as well. So, so yeah, those workshops were great. And hopefully, hopefully we can give more of those in person, you know, workshops um, soon. So, um, so Patricia, you know, it's so impressive that, you know, you're a published author of three books. You know, you're the only person, you're the only friend of mine that has published three books. And I'm in the process of writing two books myself. So it's always an inspiration, you know, to talk to you and, and to hear about the journey of your three books. And your three books are, the first book is called The Spiritual Secrets of Essential Oils. Your second book is called 55. That's yeah, that's exactly. The there it is. Yes, that's The Spiritual Secrets of Essential Oils. Then your second book is called The 55 Sacred Trees. Yes, there's that book. And then the third uh, book is about flowers. Flowers, the beauty of earth. So, so it's amazing. It's amazing that, you know, that you've written these three books. And can you tell me a little bit about the process of what you went through when you wrote these three books? Actually, I never planned to write any books. I never planned. Um, I remember a few years ago when I met a coach um, she was training to be a coach and she came over to my house and she said, oh, would you like to do a vision board with me? So we both got, I think, a bottle of wine, <laughs> two of us, and we did a vision board. And on the vision board, I put a book. And I put, I totally forgot about the vision board. It was just lying behind the wardrobe for years and years and years until I took it out one day and I realized that it came true. So that's, that's the story of the vision board. Wow. So, and yeah, you know, like I love vision boards. I've been working with vision boards for years. So yeah, that's, the that's, power. A, and that's another great, that's another great example of how things manifest when you do a vision board. Yeah. So the first book I, um, it was 2018. So I wrote it within two days. So between the first and the third of, March remember it was your birthday on the time I do I, I do remember and I remember the snowstorm I remember snow, I, it was snow, it was so the we, east the, the beast from the east right yeah yes so you wrote you wrote your first book in two days wow that's very impressive three days three days three and days okay actually wow. what had happened a day before I paid the rent so it was on the first and because I just got a job and I paid the rent so I had zero money on my accounts zero for the first time in my life and I remember that I asked my guides for help. I really, I was so desperate. I had uh, no money in my account. I had zero food in my fridge. And I was, on top of this, I was very sick. 
So wow. I had a very bad, bad cold. So I was lying in bed and I asked for help. First time, my guides, my angels for help. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember I woke up on the next day. Uh, we're buried in snow at that time, like buried. Could I remember. I remember. Open the front yeah. door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody remember who lives in Ireland? Remember that? that yeah, that that today. was a crazy snowstorm. Yes. Yes. And I remember, like, uh, the bookshelf was opposite. Uh, that bookshelf was opposite my bed. So the only thing that got into my like an idea just to grab a notebook and start writing so because I did healing session over the years I just like okay now I have time to write um, the channeled information that I got through the healing session but instead of writing those kind of ideas or channeled informations I started writing about essential oils and it was like I grabbed I grabbed like a pen and all of a sudden my hand was writing and I saw pictures and words and more pictures. And I think on the first day I wrote 22 descriptions of essential oils. Wow. And I, I, I have no, I didn't even read this. I just wrote it down everything. And um, in my bed, just lying and coughing and sneezing <laughs> and writing. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful process. (laughs) It was the process. Anyway, um, on the first day I sent, I was talking to a friend and I was just, um, and I said to her, because we used to run classes together. And I said to her, like, I wrote this and I have no idea what it is. Can I send it to you? And she said, why not? So I I sent her the description and she said, what is this? It's so beautiful. So it's like, do you have more? It's like, yes, I have 22. And I kept on writing and I woke up, remember like I woke up on the next day, I was really woken up and it was not like I opened my eyes and you just awake. I was woken up because like write down about this oil and this oil and this oil. So within three days, I wrote 66 descriptions of essential oils and it stopped. Wow. It stopped. Okay. So what I did, I put everything you know in a word in a word and and I so I look at this when I finish and it's like okay what am I going to do with that because I guess a lot of people like to know about the essential oils and it's something different but the idea of just putting everything in a book was terrifying like how am I supposed to do this it's huge it's huge it's not for me like hello <laughs> <laughs> right (laughs) I just left it because it was huge it was overwhelming it's like I'm not gonna publish a book no chance hell no so but what I did I just put the idea aside and and I just focused okay and I just started like kind of doing step by step everything so when you it's like when you have a big idea or big projects that is overwhelming the only way that you can put like put it like manif- manifesting is, is just put it in the pieces. So when I look at this one, it's like, okay, what, what I need next? Um, so I realized in order to publish a book, because I look at internet on YouTube, how to publish a book, I Google it, how to publish a book. And there was so much information that you can actually get lost. It is a sea of information. And I only knew one person who published a book so I sent her message she didn't get back to me I was like okay I'm left on my own with it with everything but what I realized that uh, okay I have this and so what I look at different books what do they have so they have ESB and number they have an editor they have a graphic so a cover page cover page so I look up this one and um, there's a great page that I still use uh, for cover page. Like for with this book, for example, um, is I met a friend. So my advice is when you want to publish a book, don't be, uh, don't be scared to ask questions. Right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You'll be surprised. Yeah. Yes. You'll be surprised how many people know someone 
who is work because I thought I'm on my own. I don't know what to do, but I think it was great because when I you and you ask questions, you got some information, and you'd be surprised. Like I went for coffee with a a friend just by accident. We just supposed to meet up. Or we haven't seen each other for a while, and she told me about a girl all of the sudden who is doing paintings and showed up with a painting. And she came to give me the details of Yola. And I contacted Yola and Yola designed the cover page. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, a, that's such an amazing, that's such an amazing example of, you know, when you're, when you're aligned with what, you know, with your purpose and something that you're supposed to be doing, then the universe brings you people, events and circumstances that help you move forward, right? Like yes, the way, the way also, that this painter came in. Yeah. Yes. But it's also don't be afraid because a lot of people are afraid to ask questions. Yeah, definitely. Do you know, yeah. or do you know someone who is doing this? And yeah. I, I was looking for editor like everywhere, like really everywhere and ask people and eventually someone, someone's like, oh, I want to know a guy who's an editor. So like, great, great. And so my advice is when you publish your book, don't ask your friends, do you know who is doing this? Who is doing that? And you'd be- Yeah, like use your contacts, right? Do a lot use of networking, contacts. right? Exactly. Because so many, like people, people know so many different kinds of people, right? That you wouldn't even think about, right? Exactly, so yeah. use it. Don't be afraid to ask questions because I think it's very, very important. Another book, another thing about publishing book taught me is to speak up for yourself and be confident and now I make like videos on YouTube and I talk about books and I give interviews online and before that like on two years ago I never dreamt of it I was just like this is not yeah I remember run away yeah yeah Yeah, and it's really funny because we're both we're both big on YouTube right now right like we're both making these videos on um, on YouTube now so so it teaches you how to speak up for yourself how to be confident how to say yes and say no and to grow like spiritually to grow and yes I was I remember like my last book launch it was before lockdown I had I think around 100 people in the book launch yeah i remember i was there i was there you were there (laughs) and it was great because i was afraid because i had to hold presentation and everything but this is how you grow how you you learn how to speak up you learn how to speak up in front of hundreds of people exactly even even nowadays like when we do in the lockdown we cannot even invite so many people in in one place yes but you still can do online on um, on YouTube or on Facebook or on other different social media, which I think is great because publishing a book is teaches how to be more confident about your work, how to speak up. Because it's like yeah, when you definitely. publish a book, you will not be on the next day on New York Times bestseller. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. The New York Times not, bestseller. It's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. People think that it's it's like that. It's not. It, yeah. Everything is requires step step by step. Okay. Of course, yeah, yeah. So this is the first. When I published the second book, um, it was much easier because I knew, I knew what to do. I knew how to find uh, what, like I need to send to an editor. I knew how to uh, um, f- find. Um, do the editing by myself even yeah right yeah of but, course because you had already gone through the first book right you had, go, you had gone the through the, book, the whole yes. process of the first book so then the second book of course was was it's easier. my way way much easier. yeah of course i remember yeah. but when i started writing in march and i got this book in which is really fast in november yeah was the, before December was the book launch. So within seven yeah, months. Yeah, I mean, you've written three books in three years, right? Because the first book was March 2018 that you wrote it, right? So this yeah. book, the second book came in the middle of June. I started writing in June and that was published a year later. Right. right? Now, it's a different story because I ask people, authors, because you got into a different um, environment as well, or people who've published books. And I remember like two years ago, I gave a talk in a Polish uh, library, um, how to publish your book. And right. people have different uh, habits of writing books. Like I would write uh, in the evening. 
right uh, sit down I would sit down and I just um it's like a channel book a channel information so it's not like I sit down and have a pen and I write it's not unless it's a novel unless it's fiction it's a different story right but channel books you just don't switch like that it's just need to, you need to wait so the second book about trees I have to wait because um for inspiration for channel information um so it took me a bit longer but usually when I ask people on that on the on that meeting um that event well, some people have this habit of writing in the morning. For example, they wake up four o'clock in the morning, they write for one hour, two hours, and then they have breakfast and they go to work. Some people have a part-time job. They sit down the day off, they lock themselves in a shed or something like that, and they write. Some people like me write in the evening or just write one page, still something you know yeah everybody yeah. everybody has their own process right yeah. just listen to your body listen what works for you the the thing is to uh listen and do it even step by step little steps are important than no steps yeah definitely that's why i always say the baby steps the baby steps lead to the to the bigger steps right and to the bigger goals definitely yeah and you know patricia like you know you've um you've described all the this amazing process that you went through writing writing your three books and um can you tell me a little bit more about the type of obstacles that you encountered or you know when there were those moments of fear yeah like obstacles and fear and and how how were you able to to get over them how were you able to get to the other side I think the best of the, the biggest obstacle is maybe self uh, not criticism because it's huge people it may not be everybody's cup of tea yes that's true yeah and it yeah. really we take most of us we take uh, critics really personally right and yes some people yes. may not like it because okay it's just stupid it just doesn't make a sense for me and that you take it really personally right some people look, yes i will i i love using the books because it gives me insights much deeper aspect how to use essential oils or how to connect with trees or how to understand trees right um, I think it's the biggest one because people there's always be someone who will criticize you for something of course of course so it, it teaches you to develop a thick a thicker skin right because yes. if you're going to do something like this like you said not everybody not everybody's going to like your book right there's going to no. be people that like your book and there's going to be people that don't like your book so you have to be prepared you have to be prepared to to get the positive comments and you also have to be prepared to get the negative comments right and mm -hmm. always keep in mind that yeah that that not every not everybody is gonna like it so yeah and um another thing is um not even comment but um i'm gonna say um a lot of people actually when you may reject you even when i have this idea of um going to different bookshops and they reject you as well um my, usually majority of bookshops will take your books they take some right. percentage but they'll take your book but some of them will say well actually we are not interested we're taking from my agents who sends us books i we have no idea who you are and sorry but no so right. Just don't, don't take it personally. Sometimes it's better when you do all the work, when you do all the advertisement, because it's, uh, you see, when you go bring to a shop, usually shop uh, takes some percentage. So they give you maybe half of it. My books are around 15, 18 euro. So a shop takes eight. So I got only eight euro for one book. Right. If you do all the work, I know it's a lot of work, you get all the money to get me so you right. kind of a miss you don't go through the middle man i would say so <laughs> right you get you can cut out you can cut out the 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 middle man and and talking about that what is the best way to publish a book because i know that there's many different ways to to publish books right so um, yeah if you have um 
depends if you have money or if you don't have money. Um, how if, much money are we talking? Like, how much money are we talking? Well, it on about the, depends on see depends on the self. If you go to a publisher, like usually big publishing houses, they will not take your books unless you want to pay a couple of thousand euro. Like for example, Hay House Company takes right. a couple of thousand. You have to pay. And you have to pay them to publish your book. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, and then um, then you have self-publishing uh, bookshops, which is actually what they do. They just, you send them a Word document or PDF and they, they uh, cover page and then they do the cover and then they do just print it and send it back to you, uh, which we talk about between 1,500 and 2,000 euro. Okay. Uh, depends how many books depends on the self publishing so what they do they only publish they don't add, they don't do any advertisement right okay okay so you got it and then you have like end up with like three four boxes of books and then you it is your job to sell it it is your job to advertise to talk about those uh, books okay? right okay so that's the only ESBN number. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I think on Amazon people don't like it. I also don't like it. But if you don't have money, if you have text and it's ed been edited and it's done, uh, I think it's kind of a great way to KPD Amazon. Um, what they do, you, you can do everything by yourself. Um, they give you the cover page. They give you the um, ESBN number, uh, which is like a uh, like unique number for your book. Mm -hmm. And for example, you can put your ESBN number on Google and the, your title will come, for example. Um, so you have on Amazon, for example, you have um, the great thing is that you can print a few copies like I did and they can send to you for very little money. You may okay. pay 30, 40 euro or even depends mm -hmm. uh, with a few copies, with few copies and, and they can send it to you, right? Nice. So, so did you so did you publish your books through Amazon then? I have two books. Uh, there's one, the, the first one about essential, it's in Polish as well on Amazon. Okay. But the thing is that they don't, uh, for, for some reason was rejected. So I don't know why. Um, okay. But the Amazon is um, they they take some percentage and they give you like very sm very uh, small amount of money, so it's up to you. I think both ways when you combine Amazon with self publishing because you have money uh, from both ways. Right, know? right, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, it's 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 interesting, you know, to to think about the different ways that there that there are to publish a book. And what's the best way to find an editor as well? Because you also need an editor. You need an editor. Actually, I found it by coincidence. I was I asked a friend, and so my opinion, I said it over and over again. <laughs> Don't be afraid <laughs> to ask questions. All right. To friends. You never know who knows. Dublin is very small. Yes. Um, Double Everyone knows each other, small. basically. basically. <laughs> yeah. So what uh, I found for a friend by accident, and now editors can cause anything from 200 to 700 euro. Depends okay. what he wants to do. What? So it's about what you want in your book. Is it just editing? Is it just spelling mistake, grammar mistake? Even right. when you native speaker and you your book is in English, you need to have an editor because sometimes we write and we even when you think it's okay you give it to editor and she or he will find hundreds of mistakes right right yeah but it's better yeah. to pay some money for someone who will go will go step by step and and make sure um make sure that it looks good because once you publish it once you hold it it's then you have to correct like three or 400 books again. Yeah, so exactly. Give yourself time, <laughs> take it some yeah. time and, yeah. and just not to rush things, you know? 
Yeah, I remember. I mean, I, you know, I, I worked in advertising for a long time and, and I remember that, you know, once you know, everybody has looked at, at something that you, that you publish and one of the worst nightmares in advertising is when you publish something and then you see a spelling mistake in it. That's, you know, exactly. that is the worst. And the, I, I can just imagine, you know, like in a book, right? Like when you publish a book and if there's a misspelling in there, yeah, not not nice, right? Right. So you want you want to find all of those you want to find all of those mistakes and and correct everything with the editor, you know, before before you publish the book. So, but so even yeah. when you go through the books yourself and you find mistake, because sometimes you may you may go through one hundred times and you will not see it. Oh so yeah, I know. Yeah, because you've you've seen it so many times that you don't see it. Yeah. And then you give someone else and it's like, and she or he finds like, oh my God, there was a mistake in spelling. And in yeah, grammar. yeah. You always so, need those fresh eyes. You always need those fresh eyes, you know, to, to look at things, right. And, and to find, you know, to find those spelling and, and grammar mistakes. Uh, definitely, definitely. And then, um, then you mentioned the cover page, you mentioned how, how you, you know, you got this artist to do the, the cover page for your first book. Yeah. That's this one. And yeah. actually, we took, uh, remember, like a uh, few years ago, I went to St. Anne's Park, which is a rose garden. And yes. I took a perfect picture of a rose, which was like sacred geometry. Right. And I sent Yola like hundreds of pictures. And she said, like, okay. And she asked me, what do you want? And it's like, I want something that is a combination, it's like a mixture of uh, a nature and uh, earth energy and uh universe energy and we yeah. saw this picture of of this rose and it's like i think that's it one so mm. she created it's very original so she created that's a rose that's like the yeah thing. so yeah that's the rose yeah and i remember that the rose essential oil is the highest vibration one as yes. well i remember that yeah and actually opens our heart so yes uh, in my opinion rose actually symbolizes the feminine energy the, the yeah. aspect of earth and the uh the, the beauty i would say and then you have the blue so that's the blue we can see even some planets here like little so yeah that what that's the kind of a I want to say marriage between Father Sky and Mother Earth, which in my opinion is the representation of essential oils. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful how she captured, how she captured all of those ele elements in that image. Like that image is is very very beautiful and and magical and and mystical and cosmical. You know, it just it just captures it all. It captures it all in, in such a in such a beautiful way. Mm -hmm. uh, it really does. It really and does. So and that's what you ultimately want, right? That's what you want. You you want an artist to be able to capture all of these elements together and, and create such a beautiful image. Because you actually when you uh, kind of hire and ask one artist to paint a cover page, make sure because the energy for both of you will go to that book and uh, yes. make sure it's a harmony make sure you work from your heart space rather from the mind you know because yes, it's very definitely. easy to go to amazon and have a pick up a cover page but if you want something original something that would actually people when they look at the book bookshelf in the bookshop they just see that books like and it will speak to them yeah definitely no yeah yeah no i think i think i think that's a really 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 good point if, mm -hmm. if you're gonna if you're gonna write a cover like if you're gonna write a book you want the cover to reflect to reflect the energy of you and to reflect the energy you know of the book and and the message um that's that's in the book mm -hmm. right so so yeah that's a that's a really uh that's a really really good point and then um, in terms of advertising the book, how had you, how have you advertised your books? Um, I think it's my opinion. We don't, we kind of go through a lockdown now. So it was very difficult to uh, organize a book launch and bring your friends or your family to a big event. Yeah. But um, I think now we have social media, which is great. So you can advertise on uh, even from LinkedIn to Instagram, to make short video on uh, live videos on um, Facebook, 
put your mm. email address, how much your book costs. Usually people pay by PayPal. Right. Just when you can post to people mm-hmm. or send it to your friends. Um, even you can give a copy to your friend if you want. And just- yeah, I mean, you've had you've had people buy your book and you've sent it to like to people around the world as well right yes but yeah. uh, what it really worked for me when i have my youtube channel like put like a short description you yeah. can talk about for example i talk about rose or lavender or you can go nowadays to lavender field or go to the mountains or forest make a short video um about uh your experience your book put it there the more people see it, the better it is. So, and it's a regular, it's a full-time job sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Because you have to yeah. talk, by the time people recognize you, uh, it's, it takes a month. It's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Patricia. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for sharing all your knowledge of uh, and your journey, what it was like to to write these uh, these three books. Um, yeah, it's been it's been quite a journey, you know, for yeah, for for <laughs> you. To be honest with you, it's a fascinating journey. It's a, yeah, it's I mean, a you have to journey. you have to love it, right? You have to love it to do it, right? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, definitely. And what's the best way for people to to find you, to reach you? I, I can actually um, give my email address, and yeah. my you can find me on Facebook when I put like short movies about essentials or about uh, trees, uh, Instagram, mm-hmm. or uh, yeah, I would say those three that work. Uh, usually, people find me on different events, which right. is great. <laughs> right yeah it's great but so i would say those three okay great and uh and what's your what's your email i am what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it on underneath the video so people get interested in you know yeah and yeah and your name your name your name is on this video (laughs) your name is on this video so so they can find you you know they can find you you know on facebook instagram linkedin you know everywhere everywhere i have a are. group i have a group on um on facebook and page on facebook which is all connected about essential oils if you love essential yeah. oils uh, i make videos about different aspects of essential that you cannot find anywhere else yes um so i put it regularly and yeah so yeah you always you always do videos about specific essential oils and in, in short videos in your group yeah Usually yeah. people, I don't make videos over 10 minutes. They're usually under 10 minutes because yeah. I know people are, the span attention, it's very short. Yes. Uh, and I know people on the bus, they love some, they want to know something very like, you know, I would say condensed information rather than, you know, 20, 30 minutes about rubbish. So <laughs> I put yeah. it like very short within five, 10 minutes about Rose Lavender was the latest one. And so people have this information and they can use it and they know they will learn how to use essential as well. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Well, um, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Patricia. Uh, you know, we could stay here talking, <laughs> talking <laughs> about the, we could, we could stay here talking about your, your books and essential oils uh, for the, for the rest of the day. But uh, but yeah, thank thank you so much for sharing uh, for sharing all of your information, and um, thank you thank you everybody for um, for joining us today. I hope that you got uh, inspired to uh, to write a book. If you've been thinking about writing a book, I hope that this this video gives you insp- the inspiration that you need to uh, to finalize uh, to finalize that project. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and, and give us some likes and, and some comments. And, um, and follow, you can follow me on social media as well. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, I'm, I'm everywhere. And my email is lauracoaching at gmail.com um, as well. So thanks again, Bright Lights. Uh, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to tune in next Friday for another amazing episode of Waking Up to to Your True Potential. So stay well, stay happy, 
and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.